Let's continue with our second part of the tutorial on creating a movie, a custom movie poster. After we created our four images in, in Photoshop for our uh, custom movie poster, we need to uh, create VTF files. Uh, what VTF files are are valve texture format and we'll also need to create VMT which is a valve material type. So go to Google and type in VTF edit and you need to download these tools which will allow you to create a VTF so go ahead and download so once you have that downloaded now we need to create a file structure that we can put our uh, images and our VTF files into so on my desktop I'm gonna start and I'm gonna create a new folder and this is going to be the root folder which will eventually lead into a VPK. So this is the beginning of it. So setting up a specific and proper file uh, structure is very important. So create a new folder and name it. I'm going to name mine with the name of the map. Open it. And inside here let's set up a f folder structure. Total there will be four folders. First folder is maps inside this maps folder this is where you're going to place your compiled maps uh, compiled map files into next is materials next I'm going to create models so if you have any custom models that would go in there and missions Now go inside the materials folder and create a new folder VGUI. Also this is optional create another folder in here and name it models. So if you have any materials for any custom models they will go in here. In our case we don't but I'm still going to include the folder. So uh, double click on the VGUI and inside you can create another folder called maps. Next, you want to run VTF Edit. So after you install it, go ahead and double click and run it. And we are going to import our four files in here and create the VTFs. So go ahead, import, navigate to the folder where you have your target files and your JPEG. And we're going to do it one by one. So we're going to first start with uh, the JPEG. So double click import. Um, all the defaults are correct so no mip map, no level of detail and you're gonna save. File, save as and I am going to save this onto my desktop and I'm gonna actually save it inside inside this folder, inside the Hotel Swiss. I'm gonna name it add on image and save. Next, let's import our loading screen. Click OK. It's going to take a little while because it's a large file. And double check on the flags. You want no MIP map, no level of detail, and you want to make sure you have 8 bit alpha selected and checked. And then you want to save as. And the important part is you want the file name you want the same file name as you had your target file so in this case it's a loading screen underscore hotel swiss you want to note all the uppercase and lowercase letters because once we create our uh, valve material format vmt files uh, the uppercase and lowercase is going to be very important so go ahead save and you want import thumb click OK all the defaults are fine and you want to save as and our thumb is named L4D underscore Hotel Swiss save and the last image import and it's outro title Hotel Swiss double click import and you want to save as as outro title underscore hotel swiss
and hit save. At this point you can close off uh, VTF edit and go inside your hotel space folder. So we have our VTF files created in here and now we're going to put them in uh, proper folders. So add on image you leave this at the root folder right where it's at. Uh, we're going to move these three files inside uh, another folder. So go ahead select the thumbnail, loaded screen and outro title and cut. Go inside the materials folder and go inside VGUI and here paste them all and select the thumbnail L4D Hotel Swiss and move it into maps. So inside materials VGUI we have loading screen we have outro title and inside maps we have our little thumbnail. Next we need to create our VMT files and you use a regular notepad and you can create them from scratch by hand um, but the easiest way to do so is just to use one of Valve's uh, VMT uh, files already created. So under program files, Steam, Steam apps and Left 4 Dead if you navigate to your SDK content folder and go under deadline so in inside here if you go under materials and go VGUI you can see that they have the loading screen, they have outro title and they have the VMT files. We're going to copy both of these files and we're going to paste them inside our folder and then we're going to go inside maps and then we're going to go inside maps for the deadline and we're going to copy and paste the left for that deadline VMT. And we're going to paste it into our folder. So go ahead and let's start editing. So double click, open this up and the VMT files are all on the generic. The base texture is a VTF file so we need to change this and it needs to match our map. So we have L4D Hotel Swiss, so what I usually do, I just copy and paste. So I know that all the names are exactly the same, so the name has to match to your file name, and it's very important. Then you want to make sure that it's exactly the same. So go ahead and save, and the last thing we want to do is you want to rename this file into L4D Hotel Swiss. So go back out and we want to do the same thing for these two files. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the loading screen and then I'm going to paste it and rename it. So I've renamed my loading screen VMT. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to find the base texture. It's going to say VGUI and I'm going to rename loading screen underscore deadline I'm going to input my file name loading screen underscore hotel swiss making sure that uppercase and lowercase are all exactly the same I'm going to save this close it I'm going to do the same thing for outro title I'm going to copy and rename my VMT file open it and I'm going to rename the base texture save it so now we have our VTF files and our VMT files created for, uh, for three of our files. Now for the add-on image, we don't need to do anything. Well, we just have an add-on image VTF, uh, so it stays right here and is good. So at this point we have all of our files inside the proper folders. We created all the folders required to make, uh, uh, eventually make our VPK file and this is where we end for this tutorial and the next tutorial we take and we create all the text files required for our map. Uh, we input our maps into the maps folder and we eventually create a VPK file to distribute to everyone else for easy download.